All right, we're back. And I'm going to make you see things in a second. I'm looking at the stream, too, on the laptop. And just, well, whenever it feels like loading. But you guys just let me know. Uh, I'm going to just move my mouse around. Yeah, yeah, it's moving now. What the fuck happened? Okay, well, it's working now. And I'm going to blame... Uh, uh, is Juan in the chat? Uh, Juan's not in the chat. I can't blame Juan. Uh, I'm going to blame here they called me because as soon as he showed up is when all these things happened. So clearly he is sabotaging me. He is sabotaging me because he wants my title. So again, I'm not controlling this match. This is Peter on the left and uh, Savage Helios on the right. He only laughs because he knows it's true. He's so jealous of my title, of my amazing title belt. I'm a mid-card champion. You wish you had my heat. I win matches sometimes. When you job out to Kofi Kingston, you're fired. <laughs> Alright, back to the match. So we got, uh... We got... I'm trying to get back in the mode now. It's hard to get back in the mode after 10 minutes of troubleshooting. Uh, so this is both of their first matches. So I don't know exactly how well things have uh, worked out with their move sets yet, so this is going to be kind of the test for that. Again, these are uh, the very prototypes of both of the creator wrestlers, um, as there has been very, very little facial or body editing on these. It's mostly just the clothing, the move sets, and the entrances have been done. So a lot more work definitely has to be done. In fact, forget the title! That's gonna make no sense for people watching back who can't see the chat. Right, so Daedric Price in the ring gets the uh, the back. Really hard to get back into. Big clothesline by Daedric Price there takes Peter back down to the mat and a big well-measured elbow strike, a kip up there by Peter. Could be going for something big here. Clothesline, another clothesline. It bounces off the ropes. And he looks like he was going for some kind of drop kick there, but it was countered. A few dodges back and forth in the wrist lock. He's going for those clotheslines again. Could be going for a big move. Big jumping leg lariat takes Daedric Price down to the mat. Picks him back up with a big leaping DDT signature maneuver there. Plants his head straight into the mat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That DDT was trending worldwide. Bounces him off the ropes and catches him in that nice arm drag. Pulls him right back down to the mat. Looks like Peter's taking control of this match early. I say as he gets hit with that knee lift. Big move here. Manhattan drop gets dropped groin first right across the knee. Slams his arm hard down onto the mat. Could be trying to soften him up for a potential submission. Reverses the Irish whip into the corner. And a clothesline right across the back of the neck by Peter. Hooks the leg up too far away from the ropes, but only a two count with that clothesline. What's this? Big Inzagiri floors him in an elbow drop right to the small of the lower back. And a second elbow drop could be trying to wear him down for a slam, perhaps. Oh, no double counter there. That was amazing. Kick to the gut. But a nice Russian leg sweep takes him down. He's in a good position for a diving move, actually, if Peter wants to go there. Nice standing leg drop right across the upper chest. Picks him back up. Another Irish whip, but he manages to hang on this time. And a toe kick kicks him off the apron. Looks like this one's going to the outside. Side headlock. They're getting counted out very slowly. I don't know what Peter's going for here. A toe kick return there by Savage Helios. Nope, he's got him again. And he's dragging him around. Can't see decide where he wants him to go. Up against the crowd barricade. But a counter. A nice knee lift. And a clothesline takes him down to the, to the outside. But these competitors need to get back into the ring before they're counted out. We're at the six count here. And there's too much time for a count out. Looks like this time Daedric Price is carrying him over to the sides of the ring. He's got him hung up on the ring ropes. What's he going for here? 
and a beautiful face buster straight off the ropes. Nothing to uh, absorb the impact on that one other than his face. One, two, and a kick out at two and a half. Throws him hard right into the turnbuckle. Carries him up to the top rope. Could be going for a big maneuver here. Yep, he's got him hooked up and a side slam right off the top rope. Lands hard down on the small of the lower back. Oh, he's going for a finisher here. He's got him. He's got him hooked up for the backpack stunner. And drills his jaw right off the shoulder. One, two, and three. Savage Helios wins his very first televised match. See if there are any good replays for this. Yep, it's picking the good moves. Good. Sometimes it'll pick very puzzling things for replays. I really pulled back in that one. He was doing really bad early on. And he wins his very first Here's televised match, and it was a singles match to boot. What an incredible match. That one could have gone Hopefully, way. the game will be Nobody smart and put him in his tag team for his next match. And a bunch of generic signs in the crowd. Yeah, the game usually isn't very smart. Hey, we saw a tag team match earlier between two people who were not in tag teams. That is one blocky ass shirt. It's funny how in game it looks so terrible, and yet in the create a wrestler mode, it looks really good. The waiting game. Next up is Diphonus versus the other half of the tag team champions, Kempodactyl. Kempodactyl, well known for his stand up comedy on YouTube. Also went to the same high school, or no, elementary school with the guy. Very nice individual. And the other half of. Wait, who comes out first? Diphonus comes out first with his El Generico entrance. Uh, and he comes out pumping up the crowd early on. Dyphon is well known for his high-flying maneuvers and his semi-lucha style. And his sleeveless flannel shirt because it was the closest thing the game had. So we'll see if Dyphonus wins his very first televised match against one half of the tag team champions. This would be a big match to win for his first match. I see tables outside the ring. Uh, this one might be a no disqualification match, or perhaps even a tables match. I didn't catch. If this is a tables match, that means the first man to throw the other man through a table wins the match. And here comes the other half of the tag team champions. The other half of two bad dudes with attitude, Kempodactyl. With his beautiful tag team championship and his absurdly large muscles. You can find him at Kempinator at uh, Twitter. Yeah, it looks like this is a tables match. Strength advantage here, I would have to say, goes to Justin. I believe both Justin and Callum do rugby now. There's a terrible picture of Triple H. Kind of looks like he has eyeliner on. And this match is underway, this tables match, a big wheel kick immediately. Dyphonus 
really uh, giving it his all here in the match in the early goings. Really wants to have the big win, win on his record sheet. Nice Japanese arm drag there. And countered into a sit-out spinebuster early. The power taking over of um, Kempodactyl. Just thrown into the corner. Diphonus really needs to keep on him and give him no chance to come out of this one. Tornado DDT out of the corner. Spikes him on the roof of his head immediately. Side headlock takeover and a nice elbow strike right across the side of the head and a hurricane out of nowhere. But he just can't seem to keep him down just yet. Arm wrench floats him over with that nice modified uh, that nice modified fireman's carry. Bounces him off the ropes once again, but he's countered into a nice bulldog, jamming his uh, his jaw right off the mat there. Some countered punches here. It looks like Kempodactyl wins that exchange. And a nice short uh, short arm clothesline, two of them, he's going for a third, just decks him with the lariats. And it looks like he could be going to go get a table early if he wants to put this one away. You're gonna have to think about just how creative Diphonus might have to be to slam him through the table. Considering he does not have the strength or weight advantage in this matchup, big swinging side slam. Kempodactyl with the power moves early on. The cameraman didn't seem to catch that, but I think it was a standing leg drop. Pulls him back up, counters the kick, and gets him with a nice dragon screw. If he knocks out the knees... Nice sent on. If he knocks out the knees of Kempodactyl, he might not have the lifting power to get Diphonus up for a slam through the table. Counters him. He's on the table. A drop kick, but he misses. That was a close call. Diphonus could have lost the match right there. Oh, throws, but he skins the cat and manages to hang on to the ring ropes. Counters it with a nice elbow strike, bounces off the rope. No, he just got into the ring. He doesn't want to go for high risk maneuvered quite yet. A drop kick right up against the table, but with not enough force to break it quite yet. Shoves him off and bounces his jaw off the mat a second time in a big elbow drop with a lot of his weight right across the back. Oh, a heavy Irish whip right into the table. This could be it early on. German suplex! No, nope, but he completely misses the table. And that keeps Diphonus in this match. A heavy toe kick. It looks like he's pretty injured already. Oh, he's got him hooked up here for a pump handle slam. A big front pump handle slam. Sends him down on the mat hard. Elbow drop hard right across the chest. And he could be going for a big move here. Oh, snap swinging neck breaker. Drives his neck straight down into the mat. It looks like one half the Tag Team Champions really has this one. Another swinging side slam. He's destroying him with the power moves. Pendulum back breaker. This is not going well for Diphonus. Oh, Diphonus is countering back with that big toe kick right into the ribs. He looks like he's stunned a bit. He's throwing him up against the table in the corner. Another big drop kick, but again, not with the force to put him through the table quite yet. Once again, going back, trying to wear down the knees and get rid of the lifting strength. Kicks him in the gut. What's he going for here? A nice, a nice uh, sunset flip bomb. Drives him straight down to the mat with a very athletic move, a big back elbow right to the face. He's lifting him up. This could be... No, he counters the finisher and gets him with an implant DDT. Drives him forehead down straight to the mat with all of his weight. Another, a nice STO drives him back down, picks him right back up. He's trying to counter with power moves of his own. Could be trying to put him through the table right here. Another draw kick once again does not work. He's going to need to try a bigger move than that. The plant one not have the tag team champions through the table, but he's insisting on it. No, this could be it. Poor Karana, but he doesn't, once again, does not put him through the table. This has been a very competitive match. He bounces off the ring ropes and catches him in a Her Karana there with an incredibly athletic move. Picks him back up. Gets him against the table again. Another drop kick, but is countered this time. It looks like he might have hurt his knee on the landing. A big bulldog out of nowhere, jacking the jaw right off. Picks him back up. This time he's throwing Diphonus up against the table. German suplex attempt, and he goes through the table. And Kempodactyl wins the match by elimination. 
through the table. Oh, and the uh, tag team champion wins the match. You see right there, he's going for his big finisher, the Alt F4, but Dyfn has slipped out of it with that DDT, a great counter. Amazing matchup there. And finishes it with the uh, gravity-breaking German suplex through the table in the corner. I believe so. Uh, it would have been embarrassing for the tag team champions if he lost that match, considering that his tag team partner, uh, Dr. Callum Sharp, won the very first match of the night against yours truly. Or rather, he lost that match. I, I, I can't remember if I said won or lost already. But he, uh, he lost his match. It would have been embarrassing to have both tag team champions lose their match on the same night. Alright, next match of the night. There are seven matches in these nights, by the way, with NXT. I, I made it do as many as possible, because the roster is now officially big enough to do that. So the next match is an extreme rules match, which means no disqualification between Joker and uh, Prototype Joker and Prototype Doug. These two have been having a feud that the computer has generated over the last few uh, weeks in game, with uh, Doug coming up as the winner in all of the matches, I believe. Doug is still undefeated. So this is a uh, no disqualification match. Weapon use is legal here. You, in fact, in the previous match, they did fight each other with sledgehammers. And somehow neither man is dead. No, what a geek, you are not in the ring yet, but the game has generated you in, uh, for a match tonight as you are the main championship holder. You are in the main event tonight against Brandon with your title on the line in a one-on-one -on -one match. What a geek, in that feud, what a geek has been winning most of the matches. Brandon has eked out one victory, but that's only one victory to what a geek's three victories so far. We'll have to see how he fares tonight, but this could be a chance for Brandon to win the title. Here comes Doug. Oh no, but it looks like Joker's not going to have a repeat of last night losing again. He gets a double leg takeover there on Doug, pulls him down to the outside. Computer versus computer match once again. And again, this is no disqualification. There are no countouts. Weapon use is legal. We're going to see a definitive winner in this match. And someone in the front row really wants us to see that he has an acoustic guitar and he brought it to the arena. Personally, I have to say, I think Doug will win. He is still being undefeated. He won scoop slam and he already got a one and a half count. Doug is unkillable. As we've seen in previous matches in Fire Pro Wrestling, Doug can fight four men at once. He'll lose, but he'll survive for a half an hour. Big Irish whip to the corner. Looks like he's going for a back shoulder splash there, but it misses. I don't know what Joker was attempting there. He's got him in the side headlock. Running Bulldog, Madri Bread style there. Brings him down, but Doug is not staying down. Some heavy swing punches there, right across the face and a back elbow. Joker's really starting off fast in this match. Arm wrench. He's got him wrenched over, drags him down to the mat, and a leg drop right to the shoulder. Could be trying to neutralize those punches that gave him the advantage early on. Doug's got him early in the camel clutch, trying to really wrench back on the lower back as well as on the jaw. He's been in for quite a while. Oh, no, but he's not ready to tap out yet. He manages to get out of it. Oh, a huge tilt-a-whirl side slam plants him right down spine first on the mat, and he's going for that, that camel clutch once again, trying to capitalize on the injured back. And he tapped out! I swear to God, Doug's overall stats and Joker's overall stats are almost the same. It doesn't matter what game I make Doug in, Doug is invincible. Doug won this match in probably two minutes. And Doug's, Doug retains the undefeated streak. He's 4-0.
I don't know when it'll. <laughs> yes! Doug OP pulls nerf! <laughs> I'm telling you, one day Doug is going to be the, uh, the World Heavyweight Champion of TWC. Alright, next match of the night. I believe we might be coming up to the final match, or perhaps the semi-final match. Which one are we at? Yep, we're at the finals! It's a table match for the title. What a dumb match for the computer to pick for the title. Between Godfrey GameSquare Brandon War Zero versus TCW Heavyweight Champion What a Geek, who won his championship in the second TWC Wrestling Tournament. What a geek known for making the huge comeback of losing his very first match in the first tournament, but in the second tournament going on to win the biggest singles title in the entire company. Brandon War Zero coming out first, well known for being one and a half of the uh, of the tag team Flash Trash with yours truly. As you'll notice during the little intro card where it says the names of the competitors. You'll notice that uh, during the, uh, where it says the name, right under it, it says the Twitter handle, so you guys can go follow these people on Twitter. Brandon is at Grumpy Godfrey. If what a geek wins, Brandon has to record heart gold. <laughs> That's the stipulation of this match. If Brandon wins, he wins the title. If what a geek wins, Brandon has to record more heart gold. Or record more gold, rather. He wasn't playing heart gold. And here comes the TCW heavyweight champion, What a Geek, with his ECW championship because I haven't made a belt yet. What a Geek has only lost one match so far since being made in this game. He lost one match in a singles match against Brandon after Brandon managed to catch him with a huge lariat. As What a Geek was bouncing off the middle rope for a springboard maneuver, absolutely decked him with the, with the lariat and knocked him out cold. What a Geek has come up on the winning side of the other three matches, however, all three wins by pinfall. Yes, Savage Helios is technically undefe undefeated as he has had one match and he won it. So replace ECW with um, TWC. Pinfall! Yes, that's what Woody Geek yells out aloud every time he goes for the pin. So everybody in the chat, I want to see your predictions on who you think is going to win. Personally, I think that Brandon's going to win because he's my tag team partner and uh, we would have every single every singles championship in the company between the two of us if he wins this match. However, What a Geek has retained his title in all three title matches that he has had since winning it. He has retained his title with, uh, he's retained the title with that dragon cutter each time. Big European uppercut there. Looks like Brandon really doesn't want to squ uh, squander this opportunity of being the first person with a shot at the title in this game. Gets the arm early. Now, if Brandon's smart, he's going to either really focus on the lower back or the legs to try and neutralize either the movement or the leaping ability. If he can neutralize the legs, he won't be able to get the, the uh, distance he needs on that top rope dive if he wants to go for his senton bomb, his other big maneuver. Nice, nice amateur wrestling takeover there. Throws him back down to the mat, but what a he counters, throws him to the ropes, and a huge falling hip toss lands hard on the back, and a running drop kick right across the back of the head. He's starting with some big moves, test his strength right here up against the ropes, and of course Brandon wins that one. Throws him, nope, pulls him back, right into a big boot, right to the face. Grand Warzir, well known for his finisher, is the sit out powerbomb and the running lariat. If he can hit either one of those, he might be able to have him hurt enough to get him through a table. Some big gut punches there, rolling Sabat right into the gut, and a nice northern light suplex. 
plows him right back down onto the back and an elbow drop across the chest. Once again, no holds barred in this match. Everything is oh, counter right out the back and belly to back suplex throws him down hard on the back. I'm just waiting to see when one of these competitors decides. Yes, it looks like what geek is deciding now to go get a table to finish this match. Now the real question is, will Wadagi go for a table move in the corner, or will he utilize his speed and get him with a diving move through the table? Looks like Brandon's in control here. He went to swing at him, but he missed, and he hit him over the back of the head. Looks like Brandon's planning to set up the table right in the middle of the ring here, instead of leaning it in a corner, perhaps planning to actually powerbomb him through the table. Oh. That's this, he's got him up, and a nice front power slam lands hard on the back. You have to wonder why it's legal for what a geek to wear that vest. You'd think it'd absorb some of the impact one. Picks him up, and a nice side slam drops him right back down onto the lower back, trying to neutralize his movement. Oh, he's got him picked up, and an implant DDT right on the head, a signature maneuver of Brandon War Zero. Could he be going for a finisher early on? Oh, he's got this, he's got a running power slam going, plants him down flat, it looks like he's trying to wear him down more before he even attempts the table, he doesn't want to get reversed into it, and a big choke slam, again hard down on the back, just non-stop power move after power move after power move, but what he still man manages to counter back with that toe kick, and another northern light suplex, dangerously close to that table, he could have won the match right there if he were just a few more inches, to the towards the table. He book picks him back up, counters, and a big heavy elbow strike right across the temple. Could be going for that choke slam again and lands a second choke slam. Brandon is taking this match extremely seriously, trying to win the title. Kicks him in the gut, they collide in the ring, they must be tired. Oh no, he's dragging him over to the table. Could this be it right here? No, what he counters, that could have been it throws him down, and once again, only an inch away from falling through the table. That would have been a victory right there. He's got him up and a power slam in front of him. This is incredibly nerve-wracking. A kick to the gut, and they bump in the middle of the ring. Throws him over into the corner, and he could be running. No, once again, what a geek manages to get away, and a huge clo short arm clothesline takes him down. No, what's this? Float over and a neck breaker finally gets the space he needs, picks him back up. If he's smart, he'll go for it now. Yes! So overhead suplex and he just misses the table. That could have been a title retention right there. The very tense matchup goes for another one, another overhead double arm suplex there. Beautiful, beautiful maneuver there. And a third one, he hits the trifecta, absolutely destroying him, finally getting the damage that he needs done. Going for here, a DDT plants him down right across the mat, and what he's surprisingly not going for many of his high-flying maneuvers here. A big knee lift right into the gut, and another side slam attempt here, and he lands it back down on the back. Picks him back up. Oh, no, he could be throwing him outside the ring! Does that count? No, the table did not break, the legs just folded. That was almost a victory right there, and we would have seen a new champion crown. Looks like Brandon War Zero is planning something here. Yeah, he's dragging him by the hair. He's dragging him over to the corner of the uh, of the outside of the crowd barricade. What's he planning here? And he spears him through the crowd barricade. A lethal maneuver there by Brandon War Zero to the champion. They're both crawling back to their feet. A brutal, brutal maneuver. Could that have done the damage he needs to throw him through the table with no effort? Huge! He throws him head first right into the turnbuckle, knees on the back of the head. His head bounced right off the steel pole. And a huge, great hook right across the face. He could be out, but this match can only win. Only be won as a result of being thrown through the table. A knockout is not even enough to stop this match. He's throwing him back into the ring. What a geek is still somehow in this one. <coughs> he catches the foot, but he counters around the back. Luthez presses some heavy punches to the head. I don't know if Brandon or What a geek are still in the chat, but I'm sure they're on the edge of their seats if they're right. They are. Front headlock takeover. 
picks him up in a vertical suplex, but he's too far away from the table to get him there, so he wears down the lower back. Oh, what's this? He's going for a combo here. A big single leg drop kick, and another one right to the jaw. Hooks him around and gets that nice, nice uh, neck breaker there. He's on the ring apron. He floats over and he hits a springboard senton bomb there. Got him with another one of those beautiful double arm suplexes overhead. Match. He's already seeing hashtags in the chat of match of the year. Another one. That's the fifth one this match. Absolutely decimating him. He's really pulling back in this match after being speared through and the trifecta once again after being speared through the uh, after being speared right through a crowd barricade kick to the gut collide in the middle of the ring we haven't seen a finisher yet but he's dragging him over to the table he throws him up against the table chokes him and throws him off Luthez presses some heavy punches right down across the head that was almost it right there what a geek could have been planning to do the dragon cutter through the table no, no, Brandon's gonna try and put this one away. Could this be it? Oh no, he's got him up on the top rope. This could be it. Br what? Brandon's just walking. No, no, he rolls off the table in time. I think that was a pathfinding bug. That that may have saved what a geek right there. No, he's got him up against the table again. He's got him on the table. What's he going for here? He's going to the top rope. Brandon's going to the top rope. And a splash through the table. Brandon wins. New T TWC champion has been crowned. Brandon won with a diving splash through the table. Oh my god, my throat hurts. That cough hurt. Oh. <sighs> and Brandon wins the championship. After uh, after three successful defenses, what a geek has finally lost his title to Brandon War Zero. And neither does the former champ who appears to be stunned and astonished. This is the second ever title holder, by the way, of the TCW heavyweight belt. What a geek was the first ever champion crowned with that belt, as he won it in the t in the uh, t in the title tournament. Wow. Is uh, is Brandon still in the chat there? I don't know if he stuck around for this match. Wow. And that's the uh, that's the match right there. Oops. Let me just uh, bring down the volume a little bit. Oh, no. No, it's not going to let me do it. But if I do it over here, that one does it via magic. So I actually have a surprise for you guys. Baby sing soon. However, no, first I'm going to let a cat out of my room. That was an intentional run completely. I have a very squeaky door. It needs to be oiled. Very old house. Alright, my headset's back on. Uh... Uh, Doug, do me a favor. Go message Brandon on... Uh... Actually, you know what? I can do it right now. Because I guess that uh, you're not even seeing my screen right now anyways. Ow, my throat. All right. Let me get the other thing ready. All right. This will take a second to get ready. Oh, I gotta switch discs. Just bear with me, folks.
And, uh, oh, right, I'm actually gonna have Brain down the stream because I forgot every single time I go back to the menu, if XSplit is open, uh, XSplit will stop picking up sound from the uh, capture card for some reason. So let me just put this in here. And let me, uh, oh, where'd I put it? Okay, uh, stream will be back up in one minute.